drama? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you said yes to the dress. Now it's on to finding a makeup look that makes you feel and look your best. Our wedding wingman is here to show you how to take your natural beauty to the next level in this full glam bridal makeup tutorial. You'll learn professional makeup artist tips for a wedding worthy look that will photograph well and we'll stay all day. Looking for more wedding advice? Make sure to subscribe to Wed Mayhem. Without further ado, let's see who's getting you ready for your day, your way. Hello, I'm Sylvia Waller, a makeup artist with Blush Now, here to show you how to apply full glam bridal makeup. After watching this video, take a look at my other makeup tutorial discussing how to apply wedding makeup to mature skin. Let's get glowing. So the first step to full glam bridal makeup is to prep the skin. And our bride has come with her skin prepped. We put a little bit of a hydrating moisturizer on her and we're going to apply a little bit of a sugar scrub for the lips so that any dead skin that's on the lips will be dissolved and by the end of the tutorial and when we're ready to do the lips, then the lips will be soft and ready for lipstick. So our first step is going to be priming the skin. So the important part of priming the skin is to make sure that your makeup stays on for the duration of the wedding. So that's the biggest concern that most brides have. So a good long wear primer is what you need. So we're gonna use this primer and I like to apply primer. I like to apply a lot of things with my fingertips. So we're just gonna apply this and then massage it in. And then another tip is when you're preparing for your big day, you may want to consult a esthetician, a licensed esthetician, just so that you can prep your skin and make sure it has a beautiful glow on your perfect day. So in prepping the skin, you might wanna start a couple months if you know that you're gonna be getting married in a year, a year is good. And depending what your goals are, if you're trying to get rid of sunspots, you might wanna do like a laser treatment or chemical pills, whatever the case may be, you wanna do this a few months before your wedding day so that on your wedding day, your skin is nice and radiant. So step two is going to be a flawless complexion. And with a flawless complexion, we're going to apply the foundation. And the reason I do foundation first is so that we have a nice, clear canvas to work with. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender. We're just going to dab and blot, and it gives it a more even, dewy look as well. So now that we've prepped the skin and we have the canvas, we're gonna to move to the eyes. So the third step, we're gonna to move to the eyes. And the reason that I move to the eyes right after the foundation is because of fallout. And I like to have a clear and a smooth canvas to work with so that everything looks smooth. And then if I do have fallout and I have to remove it, then I can just replace the foundation under the eye and then go ahead and apply concealer. We are going to start with the primer. Since the bride will be outside, I am going to use a primer that has sunscreen in it. Make sure that you have sunscreen under your foundation. I know we didn't go over sunscreen, but sunscreen should be part of your everyday skincare regimen anyway, without even thinking about it. Now we've primed the eye. Now we're gonna go in with cutting a crease for eyeshadow. Okay, for this bride, we're gonna do a soft, a soft smoky eye. So the bride looks just radiant and beautiful and not dramatic. We don't want dramatic, we want soft and so I'm going with a light bone color all over the lid and I'm starting the crease. And I like to do that because that gives you a definition between the brow highlight and the eyelid. So as I get started, I'll start light and then I'll start darkening to give the eye a little depth. So my next color is going to be a little darker and I'm just gonna go right here in the lash line. So I'm still keeping it really soft. We're starting to create a soft smoky eye. So now I'm gonna go in with darker color. So I'm gonna use a little bit of black. Be careful with black, you don't wanna use too much of it. But I usually use black right at the lash line and then pull the color, the product upward. And now we're gonna drag it up. So the motion that you wanna do is like windshield wipers. Just go back and forth. Now we're gonna create the pop. So when I refer to pop, that just means the color is right on the eyeball. So that's where the eye, the light hits. 
So we're gonna create that and use pink. So we're gonna just put it right here, right on the ball of the eye. So this gives her eye a soft look as well. Pink is kind of like the traditional color for the brides. And then it also looks good on her skin. Everyone can't do pink. I think kind of the darker the skin, you would move towards more of a bronze. Now I'm also going to use a little shimmer to pop. So I use a little shimmer and you want a little pop because you may have a photograph where you're looking down at your bouquet and they might get a shot of just your eye. So now we have kind of a soft smoky eye. Now our next step is going to be eyeliner. Since we are doing eyelashes and our bride here is a brunette, we are gonna go with a black eyeliner. And I use gel because it goes on smooth and you wanna get right at the lash line. So you don't wanna have any gaps. And I'm asking her to look down and eyes to the side so that I can get in this corner. So we have a complete line all the way to the end. Now I'm gonna go in and tight line. Now, some of you may not be familiar with tight lining, but tight line is where you go in the waterline and you apply eyeliner in the top waterline. And that's so that you have an even look and no gaps in color. So what we don't want is for you to have eyeliner and then you see a little bit of the pink waterline and then you see eyelashes. So you want one black line. And I'm just gonna grab your eye and it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for a minute. Now I need you to look up. I'm gonna go in the waterline in the bottom. So I'm in the waterline, but I'm going to smudge this so that it looks soft. So I'm using brown, I didn't use black. I'm gonna use brown and I'm gonna smudge the bottom because we don't want her to look too dramatic. What I'm gonna do at the top is I'm gonna go back over the eyeliner with powder. So I'm gonna take a black powder and go over it to set it like you would set your makeup. So now we're gonna move on to the eyelashes. I'm gonna put mascara on the eyelashes before we apply the false lashes. And the trick with mascara is you wanna get to the root of the lash and you wanna pull through. I'm gonna grab the eye and I'm gonna wiggle all the way through, pull the lashes up. So even though you might have long lashes, it's important that you wear false lashes or strips, or if you decide to get uh, lash extensions. But it's real important to enhance the lashes for picture purposes. I know that, you know, they may not be comfortable, but it's important and you will thank yourself later. I think we'll go with a traditional lash instead of the dramatic eyelashes. She already has lashes, so I think she would be fine by just applying the traditional lashes because they will just give her lashes a little more darkness and depth as opposed to too much drama. Do you like drama? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is measure her eye. So we wanna see if we have to cut the lashes, which we do. So we take eyelash scissors and cut in the smaller part of the lash. You don't wanna cut the wing. So I am going to cut the first section off and apply the lash glue. And I like the black lash glue because it goes on black. Well, it goes on kind of blue black and then it dries black and applying lashes you want to make sure you get right at the lash line now see the difference so when she takes a photo the eye with the eyelashes is more pronounced and her eyes just it pops and the eye on the left it's a little bit bland so you want to make sure that you apply lashes so that you're your best so now we're going to move to the brows the brows are important because they shape the face our bride here has beautiful brows so we don't really have to do much. We'll just fill in some of the sparse areas because we don't want to change the shape of her brow. We just want to fill in a little bit. So we'll just fill in maybe right in here and just make sure your tail is distinguished. And remember your brows are sisters. They are not twins, so they will not be exactly the same. And I'm using little strokes to make the appearance that they have little hairs that are growing up. So and I'm just following the natural shape of the brow. So the next thing we're gonna do is highlight. So we highlight under the brow to give the brow a lift. And then what I also like to do is go back over 
the brow with foundation and kind of shape it as well. So I'll go at the top and kind of shape it. One other thing about the eyes. So this is bridal eye. This is glam bridal eye. So say you want to go into your reception and it's a night reception. And the night reception, you wanna have your smoky eye and your more dramatic look. All you need to do is to add a little more black smoke to the sides or the corner of the eye, and that will give you more of a night look. So we could just enhance that a little bit more to go to night. So we would just take more black and enhance it at the lash line. And then I might even take the initial color that I had and just blend Blend that in with the black. So that gave her a darker eye. So the last step to eyeshadow, we're gonna add a little glitter. So I have taken a lip pencil and I just wanna dab right on the ball of her eye. Now I used setting spray so that the glitter wouldn't fall out and fall all over her cheeks. Cause once it falls, it's hard to get off. So you wanna use the setting spray to kind of dip your brush and use a small brush and then just apply the glitter right on the eyelid. Okay, so step four, we're gonna go back to the face. Now that we've done the eyes, we have fallout. We have a little bit of glitter, a little bit of the black. So we wanna remove that fallout and then reapply the foundation and concealer. So I just take a little wipe and wipe gently under the eye. And since we've removed everything, now I have to go back and replace it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the eye cream under the eye, and you're never too young to start using eye cream. It's good to get ahead of the game. You just wanna pat right up under the eye. Now we're ready for concealer. And this beautiful bride doesn't need a lot. We're doing the dab again, and then you wanna take it all the way down into like this little triangle area, just to cover the whole area under the eye. Now we're gonna go back over and reapply foundation. And I think I'll just use the concealer brush to apply that. Now we're gonna move into highlighter. So we're gonna put a little bit of highlighter on our cheek and the highlighter goes right on the cheekbone. So I'm gonna take this and just apply right on the bone. So I'm using a cream right now and I like to use creams and powders. So now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna apply a cream blush. Cream blushes are great to give you that dewy look. And this is easy to work with. It just spreads on pretty good and you can, it's buildable. So if you, you know, wanted to really put a lot of color on your cheeks, you could just keep building. So I'm gonna go over that with powder just to set it. And if you ever get into a situation where you put too much blush on, you can always go back over it with your foundation brush or your powder brush and just blend it. So on the brow bone, we're doing the highlighter. So I'm taking a liquid highlighter and just kind of placing it right on the brow bone here. And it kind of gives her that nice glow on her cheekbones. So now we're gonna dabble into a little bit of contouring. We don't wanna contour too much because we don't wanna chisel her, but we just want to give her a little bit of um, sculpting look so that when the camera hits her, that it actually picks up her features. I'm just going to do a little bit right under the cheek and then I'm gonna bring it up. And I'm not using a dark color because like I said, we don't want her to look too chiseled. And I'm gonna do a little bit on her nose where it's not heavy, but she has a little. And then I'm gonna go back over and blend more just to make sure we have blended lines. So now we have the highlighter, we have the blush. Now we're gonna move on to the final step which would be lips and the finishing spray. First of all, we're going to start with the lip and she's had this lip conditioner on throughout the whole makeup application. So now her lipstick is going to apply very smoothly. So we're going to start off with a pencil and we're just gonna line her lips and we're going to stick with nude. So her nude is sort of a, a pink. So I'm asking her to open so that we can get right up in the line of her lips. And I'm taking this pencil and I'm also filling in her lip. And I fill in the lips because it helps the makeup to stay or the lipstick to stay on. After you've eaten, after you've done your toast, you still have some color on your lip. And I'm going to apply a liquid lipstick. So I love this because it stays on all day and it's smudge proof. And I, uh, I like it because it didn't come off on my mask. 
So that's a good indicator. The only downside with this is your lips might get a little dry. So I'm going to apply a lip gloss over the top so that it doesn't get dry. But if you find that a liquid lip stain starts to get a little dry, the trick is just to apply a little bit of lip gloss over the top of it. So now the finishing touch, we're going to apply a setting powder so that it stays set. And we're going to take some of the shine and some of the glow off. And this also will help set the makeup so that it doesn't come off. Next step is our setting spray. And sometimes when I apply the setting spray, it adds a little sheen and I may have to go over it with the setting powder. So we'll see. And that's your all day wedding glam makeup. I hope you enjoyed this bridal glam makeup tutorial. Check the description below for more about me and don't forget to click the like button. Share with anyone who would find this useful and subscribe to Wed Mayhem for more wedding advice from myself and other industry insiders. Again, I am Sylvia Waller, a makeup artist with Blush Now here on Wed Mayhem and we're bowed to your vision.